Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are playing some Italy. And look at that, we own all of Italy. Every single little bit of Italy is ours. Everything from Malta to Savoy to Friuli. Everything is ours. Ah, oh, it's glorious. Oh no, Trent. Trent is our vassals. Oh, well, whatever. Close enough. Our vassal is us, right? We are our vassal, and our vassal is us. Apparently we need to improve relations with our vassal a bit, because he's starting to think about voting for Austria, and that wouldn't be very nice, would it? Austria, what a joke. What a joke. No, our marriage has gone away with Russia. Uh, well. Here, come back from Hesse. Well, end of the month. End of the month, come back from Hesse. Then we'll get our marriage back with Russia. Russia. What do we got? The severe winter. Uh-oh. Severe winter. Look at that. It's like someone went in with MS Paint and just used uh, different amounts of spray paint all over Russia. I like how it stops directly at the Lithuania border. It's like, oh, well, there's Lithuania. Let's not be cold anymore. <laughs> uh, oh, we can invest another cardinal. Do it. Let's see, France has three cardinals. We have two. Uh, the Pope got his freebie in. But uh, we should be able to control the Curia a little bit here. All right, marriage with Russia. Come on now. There we go. Yay, marriage with Russia. And let's get relations up with... Actually, we probably don't even need relations up with Hungary because we're going to get bonus relations when we peace out of this war. Should get 20 or 40 for each province. Yeah. Lorraine vassalized by France. Damn it! I was going to do that, France, you little dick. Oh. We're going to have to liberate them. Because they're part of the empire, damn it. All right, you want peace yet, bro? Bro. Oh, yeah, he does. Okay. Now, you are the wrong religion, but um, we can't force his religion unless he gets smaller. I think that's really stupid. You should be able to force religions if you're the... Oh, we're not the emperor yet, of course. Anyway. Done. And that should be good enough relations with Hungary, I think. No, actually, our relations went down. Really? But we gave you land back, you moron! Okay, let's get relations up and start nexting Hungary. I don't know why we didn't get bonus for giving him his land back. Okay, so when can we build our wonderful march? We can do it now. Okay. Let's build the march in Girona? Yeah. Wait, no, no, that's the wrong culture. Shoot. Let's build a march in Savoy. Okay, good. Oh, Lake Titicaca. Let's go, baby. Lake Titicaca. Oh, Lake Titicaca. It's not really at zero. It, it's at zero on the height map. It's not supposed to be at zero on the height map. It's, it's very high mountain lake. It's between Bolivia and Peru. Lake Titicaca. Oh, Lake Titicaca. With water so tranquil and blue. Lake Titicaca. Oh, Lake Titicaca. Why do we say it? I don't remember. Don't remember all the words. It's from Animaniacs. Wonderful little song. Oh, Castile's at war with Britain. Lol. Yup. Colonial war. Oh my goodness. I can't believe France has vassalized Aragon and Lorraine. That just sucks. That just sucks. And Pomerania is embargoing us even though they like us. France vassalized Aachen. Man, all these little states in the HRE, that's not cool. That's my job. That's my job. My job. Stupid France. Uh, 
Oh no. Lose stability or lose a bunch of points. Oh crap. I don't like any of these, but we have extra admin points, so we'll lose the stability. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're at plus, we were at plus three anyway. Come on, if only the Austrian king would die, we would be the emperor, you know? Holy shit, Austria is really, really climbing on these two guys. Look at that. Wow. Uh, we're going to have to do some heavy lifting here. Come back. And come back. I did not expect the relations to slip that far. It's not like our relations are going down. It's simply Austria's improving relations. All right. You boys better vote for me. Okay, good. As long as this gap increases every month, I'll be happy. Uh, it looks like it didn't change at all. Oh, it did. It went up by 9. Okay, good. Let's see. Counter-reformation. Eh. No rush. Let's do some more temples and shit while we have tons of admin points just chilling. Temper? Temper. Oh yeah, look at that. Lots of temper. Oh, and Aragon changed <laughs> Aragon changed the culture of Sardinia to Catalan. Right. France still has disputed succession. I would love to go take your throne, except you're the wrong dynasty. Damn it, France. Damn it, France. What is with you having wrong dynasty all over the place? All over the place. Just wrong dynasty everywhere. I don't think he knows. Oh, 20 transports. Not bad. Yeah, now that we've completed the naval idea group, we might want to go flesh out our navy. Hmm. Tech 15 is probably a good place to do it. Well, Tech 14, next tech, where we get the new galleys. Those will be nice. Definitely replace all those. I wonder if Austria is going to be able to pull off uh, re remaining the emperor, emperor. I doubt it, but... Looks like France wants to go to war with Holland. That'd be kind of cool. I would totally defend Holland against France. Ah, oh, we finished our march in Savoy. Fantastic. Fantastic. Manpower is now 92,000. That should change at the end of the month. 99,000. Wow. 7,000 manpower from the march. That's fantastic. More temples? Oh yeah, we need temples everywhere. France went to war in the New World. Okay. Hey, Papal Controller! Alright. Extra diplomat, cheaper stability, more uh, more advisors to choose from. Ooh. Yeah, give me that give me those ducats. Nice. And the new cardinal is from Castile. That's probably okay, because Castile has no cardinals right now. Okay. Oh, and France no longer has a claimable throne. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Master of Mint, Natural Scientist, Naval Reformer, Naval Reformer. Those are all useless. But I do get an extra Diplomat, and I think that's super cool. So our Diplomat that came from the Curia is called Giancarlo Doria Landi. So if I ever forget... Which cardinal? I mean, which diplomat I'm going to lose? If I lose the Curia, it's this guy. I keep an eye out for this guy. Uh, let's go top off Castile again. Mine as well.
France definitely needs a hug as well. Yeah. Oh, Poland. Oh, he stopped embargoing me, although he still has me as a rival for some reason. I don't know. Oh, bulb time. Uh, how far ahead are we? We are 11 years ahead. Definitely bulb time. National manpower plus 25%. Ooh. Where will that put it? From 99 to what? A hundred and seventeen. Oh, glorious. I love me some frickin' manpower. Alright, let's go to Russia. Relations, please. France is trying to steal a cardinal. I don't fucking think so. How's the war going between Castile and Crimea? Uh, Castile's losing horribly. Negative twenty-eight. Is it battles? It's probably battles. Mm, yeah, it's all battles. Battle of Fez, Battle of Tangiers. So basically the Ottomans have marched his troops all the way over to Morocco. Uh, and they're kicking Castile's butt. Wait, am I giving you access? I don't think I'm giving you access. No, I'm not. So how is he walking over there? I don't know. Hmm? I do not pretend to understand. All right. So are we good enough with Hungary yet? Or do you still need a little more time? Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, four months. Oh, longer than four months. Okay, well, enough. Get them out of the way. Oh, France is trying to fabricate claims on us. Hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo, really? Yeah, bring it, France. Bring it. Temples. All right, more temples, more temples. We have so many admin points to waste. Fantastic. Uh, admin points or goods? Give me the admin points, because I'll use them. Oh, I don't have enough frickin' papal influence points anymore. Damn it. Mm. Alright, there we go. Next month. Bingo. Come on back and let's start annexing Hungary. Goodbye, Hungary. You have been such a good friend. It'll take 20 years, essentially. Alright, well, whatever. greatly increase our um oh shoot one of the guys were investing and died and castile got another freebie fuck you shouldn't get two in a row that's just not cool and all those points are free so he got 101 free points on two different cardinals god damn it castile not cool Equatorial counter current. Wow. Yeah, that's a, a great little sea tile to learn about. Let's see, Portugal's down here in South Africa. Okay. Britain's down here as well. Uh, Portugal's getting invaded by the Crimea. Of course they are. Fucking Crimea. We need to lose some prestige, Crimea. I hope people compete with Castile for these guys, or if they don't, that's going to be painful. Because they're all free. All those points are fucking free. 
I'm so stupid. And I really want to try to keep this guy out of France's hands. Because France already has two cardinals. I don't want him to take over the Curia. National tax minus 10 or lose stability. Uh, I mean... Every stability point you have gives you extra national tax. So I might as well just lose the national tax and not lose the stability. Stability is very important. It gives you a lot of nice bonuses. How old is our king? He's 70. Oh my god, our king is 70 years old and he just hasn't he hasn't died. Wow. 70. That is an old king. Denmark, Denmark. Okay, none of these guys are going to vote for Austria. Good. As long as nobody votes for Austria, it's all good. We might be able to get Bohemia in our pocket, actually. In fact, I think we can. Let's get Bohemia in our pocket. Then maybe we can annex one of the other electors. I don't like having little one province miners as vassals. Oh, oh shoot, we need to sell this to our vassal like right now. Forgot about that. Um, yeah, come back real quick. Before you lose your claim, which is like almost now. How did I forget about this? Jesus. And you'll pay for it too. Look at this. He'll pay 100 ducats for it. Nice. Beautiful. And he's coring it right away. Excellent. Good guy, Vassal. Core's shit. And, uh, yeah, yeah, he doesn't have any claims anywhere else. So, yeah, if we annex anyone, we'll annex him. That's assuming we can get, um, someone else in our pocket. That's easier said than done. Let's get some constables. Constables! People leaving the coalition, good, good. Yeah, we've been at peace for a while, so they're going to leave the coalition. That's nice. I would not be surprised if I could swing Bohemia to vote for us. That'd be fantastic. It'd also be fantastic if Castile would stop rivaling me, you know? Uh, bought in dispute succession. No one cares. Come on, man, throw, I don't know, Portugal in there, or Morocco or something. Put someone else in there, not me, you jerk. But yeah, Castile's losing horribly. This is why I don't, this is why I can't go to war in Africa right now. Because <laughs> the Ottomans, Crimea, Tripoli, and Morocco are all buddies. Can't do anything in there. Car coin the next to Golden Horde, okay. Russia's being a bully, of course. Oh, we got a we got a cardinal, good. But France got the freebie. Ah. Oh well, we do have the two youngest cardinals now, so hopefully we can keep that going. Uh, if we can save up some points, I'd love to go for this guy. Let's see who's investing in here. This is France. That guy, because he's so young, and this guy too. He's even younger. We'll see. I'm surprised Russia isn't beating up on the the um, these guys. It's not like they have any alliances. No, these guys' alliances are garbage. I don't know why Russia's not beating them up. Kind of weird. Yeah, I wonder what Prussia is going to take from Bohemia here. He, he probably is too large to annex or vassalize, but he can take those two, I guess. 
Poor Bohemia. <laughs> Poor Bohemia. Poor Austria, too. My goodness. God damn it, game. I'm trying to build stuff, and you're, like, selecting units or something. I don't know. France up to 135. And he has 170 manpower. Oh my god, he has a ton of manpower. King of Austria needs to die. He needs to die. Will be the next emperor. Free stability. How old are you? He's 43. He'll live a while. Damn it. Yeah, my king's gonna die before he does. My king is 72. 72. How long are your cores good for down here? Uh, oh, he'll never lose it because they're all Berber culture. So Algiers is the primary nation of Berber culture. He'll never lose the cores. So that's fantastic. What about uh, the Mamluks? Check out like here. Oh, the Mamluks are the primary nation of Egyptian culture, so he'll never lose his cores. Well, that's kind of nice. What about the non-Egyptian province? Oh, they are Egyptian. They are Egyptian. Oh, okay. So it's just the Bedouin ones that he lost, but he keeps all the Egyptian ones. Okay. All right, so we'll be able to feed him quite a lot of land, actually. Not not tons and tons, but a lot. Who's the primary nation of Bedouin? Well, it's not Hedges. Looks like Yemen's lost all his cores. No, he hasn't. It might be Oman. I don't know of a way to check. Ah, Najd. Najd is the primary nation of Bedouin culture. Okay. Good to know. Oh yeah, Prussia took... <laughs> Prussia took Bohemia down to one province minor. Holy shit, Bohemia. Holy shit. That's because I'm the Curia controller, right? Yeah, one extra military leader. It's not bad. Can we excommunicate anybody? Who do you hate, Pope? He probably only hates his neighbors. Who do you hate? He hates Anhalt, Holstein. Holland. Great Britain. Oh, we can excommunicate. No, we can't. We can't excommunicate Great Britain because they're not Catholic. He hates Anhalt, who is Catholic. Why do you hate Anhalt? I don't know. There's nobody good that we can excommunicate. Excommunicating is just, for the most part, useless. I mean, it's great if you can do it, but good luck. Good motherfucking luck, motherfucker. All right, Castile got one of their freebies in. Oh, and we got the next freebie. All right. We did lose a cardinal, though. In fact, we lost our youngest cardinal. Really? We lost the cardinal that was like 40 years old. My goodness, he died young. So we still have the two oldest cardinals. Well, no, this guy's older. We have two of the oldest cardinals. And uh, our youngest cardinal is the one that died. We had a 40-year-old guy. He died. God damn it. But we did get a freebie. So that's nice. Is anyone challenging France here? Nope. Anyone challenging Castile? Nope. 
Nobody's challenging these guys. That fucking sucks. Yeah, I think I will kick this guy. He's pretty useless. If there was a, a missionary guy, and he would level one, I would take it. But this guy's useless. Get out of here. We don't need extra admin points right now. We're way ahead on tech. Oh. What's this? Gain a base tax in our capital. Gain a base tax in our capital. Or gain 100 Diplo points. Um, you know what? I'll actually take the Diplo points. Why? Because we don't have many. Uh, yeah, one base tax is not the end of the world. Well, no, it's what you do. You get 25 Diplo points. All right. Mm, extra base tax, I guess. Man, we could feed Bohemia so much land. I should probably vassalize him. But that would mean going to war inside the HRE, which means it'd be harder to stay emperor, blah, blah, blah. There's only 24 princes. Foreign drill instructor available. Gain army tradition at the cost of 250 ducats. No. <laughs> Nobody's challenging this guy. Oh, Castile got a second cardinal in. But it wasn't our guy that died. Okay, good. Oh, we got another freebie. Yay, freebie. And nobody's challenging any of these. Oh, someone's finally starting to challenge France. Good. People, please challenge France. That'll give them something to do rather than invest in my guy. Stay away from my guys, France. You can't handle my guys, France. Italy. Okay, we're done with Bohemia. Did we get him to vote for us? No. We got close, though. All right, let's work on other people. Uh, are you small enough to vassalize? Probably not. No, not even close. Bohemia is not even small enough to vassalize. Oh, it's because he's an elector, right? Um, relations are pretty good there. Relations are pretty good there. Well, who doesn't like us? Like, plus 35. Oh. You know what? I gotta, I gotta go. Thanks for joining me, guys. Sorry for this short episode and the halt ending, but I'll see you guys next time.